Hi, I'd like to talk to you about a product introduced from IMS Schneider in April of 2013. It is a complete motion control system that includes an amplifier, motor, controller, and feedback device. It's known as the Lexium M Drive. My name is Carl Bentz. I work with the automation group at Cross. And some of the specifics of this unit we have a NEMA 23 unit. It's available in three different motor sizes. Smaller is a NEMA 17, and a larger one we have a NEMA 34. Physically, they come in different stack lengths for different torques. This happens to be a single stack. There is also a double and a triple stack. On the back, we have our power supply connections. This particular one operates from 12 to 60 volts DC. Our communication is here. This particular one uses RS-422, which is hooked up to my laptop at this point. Uh, also available is Ethernet IP, Modbus TCP, CanOpen, and Profinet. These connectors here include our inputs and outputs. On the top row we have four digital inputs and one analog input. And on the bottom row here we have two uh, power outputs and one signal output. In my demo, I have a 24 volt power supply hooked up to the motor and this particular unit, being a closed loop unit, uses technology that we call the HMT, a hybrid motion technology. It allows us to use real loop, closed loop servo control to reduce heating in the motor and to eliminate stalling in a typical stepper motor. Uh, one of the energy efficient uh, abilities for it is to have lower energy consumption and reduced motor heat. Programming the unit is straightforward and simple. So currently I have it hooked up to my computer using an RS-232 to 485 converter and I'm going to start the program here. There's a couple different options that are available. We do have a step in direction. The, here's the interface for the Ethernet and the can open. The unit I have this morning is the motion control interface, so I'm going to open this program. It gives me a warning to let me know that if I have a power on sequence, it will run on power on. And shown in the left hand side is the program that I have currently, and I'm going to go into the terminal mode for the unit. And just to make sure it's communicating, I see the port is open, it's port 4, 9600 baud. I'm going to type this button here and it's going to come back and tell me here's my hardware, this is the unit uh, model number and the serial number. So it is communicating. And at this point, with the program in there, I have a variable to set the analog potentiometer. I've got a 0 to 9 source through a poten uh, potentiometer. And when I rotate it, I can position the motor to an analog position. So I have it currently set up that one rev of the potentiometer is equal to approximately a quarter rev of the motor. If I change the variable, I now have one rev of the potentiometer making about one rev of the motor. Very easy to program. The other advantage of this particular unit is the unit does come with a four-year factory warranty. I hope you've enjoyed it and hope you found it informative. Have a wonderful day.